All right, welcome back to October, another edition of Strategic Command World of War, October 23rd, 1942. It is muddy and rainy in most of Russia. And I think I took care of a destroyer. Let's just move up here. And it is the Germans' turn. Let's go to Africa first and see what the Italians can do. And the U.S. unit's been bombing this guy. Let's reinforce this unit and... Okay, I got a chance to upgrade some weapons. Maybe I'll attack this bait garrison unit here. Uh, well, I'll destroy this uh, headquarters unit and then move down towards Salisbury. Okay. Um, I think everything is good in India. Let's get this U-boat. Bring him back over here just to keep an eye out on any units and assist the Japanese. All right, let's finish up Germany. Oh, this is a good time to upgrade again, whatever's left to upgrade. Just awful weather. I'm going to need some air units to soften Narva and Tallinn. Supplies are bad since it's muddy, so. So that's what the situation looks like here. I better stay on the railroad line right now. I do need to get some more units here if I can just liberate this here. And I got more units along the front here. Yeah, terrible supply. Long range, sure. Long range. And I, will I be able to take small ants? Probably not. Odds are not good. So I don't even want to bother there, really. No need for it. But I think my Panzer here can fire if I don't get any damage. Let's move back for upgrading. Okay, that's well done. May as well weaken while I can.
It is weakened considerably, so this is good. Well, let's just completely encircle it. Can't move anything else adjacent, but at least I know Smolensk is going to fall. Let's bring this unit closer. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference where I'm at, so I just stay there. Uh, Veliki Luki. Okay, this unit can stay in Polotsk. There's not going to be anything over here till later. I think I can continue my advance into Ukraine. Let's see which direction to go. Okay, Kurzon. Oh, there is an air force, and it took a real beating. Oh, another Air Force. Wow, they're moving them all back here. Only two left. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't have anything to attack. Okay, how am I going to do this? I want to break through Kurzon. So I can break through with the Romanian army. Okay, I know one cruiser is right here, so I'm going to... Next turn, when the weather gets better, I can attack. Let's cut right through the Militopol. Son of a, I could have just gotten that one. He had a unit from Krivorog. There we go. Okay, I'm breaking through into the Crimea now. Move this one here. Push this German unit over here. I destroyed that one. Push back here. Good. There goes another Soviet unit completely destroyed. That's just to occupy this railroad junction. That was good. Okay, oh, I didn't use these air. Oh, I didn't use these air units. Okay, I've got one more here. I forgot I only used one air unit, okay. All right, this is called the Dnipopetrov's Pocket. Okay, I did achieve in completely surrounding everything there. Now let's continue in this, which direction shall I continue? Get him 
as forward as possible since the weather is nice. Check the partisan. Okay, one here, one there, and one needs to be up here by Kiev, so we're gonna move. Make sure. Okay, this one's covered, that one's covered. I need to cover this one. So let's move it. Yes. You go up here, and I guess I'm gonna need a couple more down here to cover Kharkov and Kursk. And okay, the Crimea, I'm already in the Crimea. I may be able to cut all these units in the Crimea off. That will be great. Okay, I can't attack with this Turkish unit, so. What else can I do here? Move some more units forward and press forward into Ukraine. Smolensk is surrounded. Can I reinforce it? Hold on. No, I can't. So I may as well inch it up a little bit. Let's look. Uh, okay, I do have this one covered and I won't need any more till Moscow, so. But I'm gonna need probably two or three over here. So let's, where can I operate? Let's get a couple more ready. Okay, they'll be within range of Kursk and Kharkov, or at least back it up. Uh, let's move the headquarters forward. That's just a move to cut off any railroad reinforcements. I can still get it through Kursk, but... All right, that whole southern army is collapsing. You guard Tbilisi. You're going to be guarding Baku. I'm going to need you for something else eventually. Time to move back to and I'm going to move my paratroopers back to Germany. Or at least say back to Europe. What am I doing? Oh, what that that's not a paratrooper. What an idiot. That's an air unit. <laughs> I thought it was a paratrooper. Oh no. We, oh, that was still well. That's I'll bring him back later. See, I want to move my airborne units back to Europe and then possibly start uh, exploring ways to get into South America. And as far as construction goes, I'm going to do a couple purchases now. And I'm going to purchase... Okay, I'm going to need some medium bo a strategic bomber and medium bombers and more fighters later. But what I do want to purchase is special forces. Two of them. I want to purchase them because they're going to be very, very necessary for the invasion of the Americas as a beginning purchase purchase because okay, so I got these two guys out ready to 
be purchased and let's look at the production okay special force another army okay I just want to make sure I got everything ready I think I pretty much upgraded everything I wouldn't hurt to purchase some fighters then eventually I want to purchase uh, some more minor units let's get a fighter because uh, air units are going to be extremely important uh, for the United States I'm giving it away but uh, I know that the US has just tremendous air power and you don't want to have less units okay let's move the Turkish Start moving towards Stalingrad or Astrakhan, whichever is best. Now let's just pull a small front over here. Okay, Grozny will be covered. This one. Just to make sure we have enough garrisons, have enough garrisons so no partisans pop up. Because they're all over here. So I got one, two, three, I got covered. I got one here, then I'm gonna have one over there. And hopefully all these others I can reinforce from the other direction. But I, this is incredible how many partisans are down here. Gonna move this air unit closer. Oh, this is. I don't have any bombers, but at least I can expose uh, the Soviet Navy. I can bomb it, and even Rostov. Rostov Nadano will be uh, under threat. Bring these units closer to aid in Sevastopol. Something to upgrade here. And I think that's pretty much it for the Germans. Um, let's upgrade this guy. I knew I had enough left for that. Ah, that should be then they can't really hit that that's it's upgrade it's got enough and then Soviets don't have that much all right next turn I'm gonna be able to move this unit well I gotta upgrade it first and then move it up here I'm not gonna do any attacks until I'm ready and plus there's a river here so that's not that good so I think that's everything. This fighter is nicely centralized here. Uh, this, this is all these railroads are going to be cleared for supplies, and I'm going to continue my advance. Did everything for Japan. Let's see what Italy research for Italia. Do some industrial technology. We do another one. Production? No. Insufficient funds. Okay, maybe I can do something cheap here. Okay, this. Okay, Germany, I'm also going to have to start researching amphibious warfare because that's going to become also very important with the Americas. I don't plan on landing smack into New York City where there's like a hundred, a million Americans waiting for me. 
I'm going to plan on doing amphibious invasions against uh, weak garrison units uh, like Brazil and all these other places. And with some good amphibious warfare technology, well, I am developing. It is going to develop. Okay, I'm already developing there, so that's fine uh, for axes and miners. But, I mean, that's going to be important for taking cities like that are on the coast, like Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, that is allied. That's one country I'm going to have to punish. Uh, well, Venezuela, Colombia, any of these that decide to join eventually, and I know they will, but like I could take out Caracas so they can stop sending stuff to the United States. Uh, Havana, Cuba is another one, do amphibious landings. See, I plan on... I noticed the AI has done absolutely nothing about taking Jamaica and this island. These are my holdings. And I think it took Bermuda. He did that, but I got the Bahamas too. So if, it, if the Americans do absolutely nothing, I'm going to start moving some units in here and then plan. I'd like to invade uh, Havana, Cuba. Take Cuba. This would be excellent for air bases. Have a headquarters and a bunch of air units that can assist in an operation into Miami. But that could get bogged down. But I think ideally my invasion is going to be routed towards, uh, okay, I don't know, Belize. If I can land in here and hold that, maybe it's a good idea to start sending a unit and then invade uh, through Central America. If I can capture Guatemala then build an army and just push into Mexico and have a front right here going into Texas with a diversionary attack in Florida. I think that's the way to defeat the United States and then hopefully the Japanese will be able to assist in the Pacific to divert the American units. But I know the U.S. has a tremendous amount of air power, uh, even though their Navy has been depleted with these suicide attacks and they've been losing heavily, but they still have a lot of air units that can just rain a lot of harm on mine, so I got to do this carefully when I come up with that. But I think that's pretty much it for this turn, so let's go to what does the AI do? Tokyo surrenders. Well, what are you going to mobilize? Lahore. Oh, good. Good. That's excellent. Because Spain is going to be very instrumental in attacking Africa. You know, like Dakar, Nigeria, all those places. While Italy is going southwards into South Africa and maybe Angola, I'm going to be using the Spanish units to completely uh, take out the other countries in Africa. Okay, here we got some more units. And then I'm going to use uh, some Italian units so once also to capture of Algeria, uh, take out Vichy France, you know, take out everything else in Europe. And then go for the Americas. Once the war in Eurasia is over, once China falls, once the Soviet Union falls, that would be ideal. All right. It's the wrong unit you're attacking. Oh, good. It retreated. Oh, good. Well, that's fine. I didn't want to lose it, so I'll reinforce it next turn. So it looks like the American units are trying to find ways around. So I may have to adjust my, 
my battle fleet line just a little bit. Okay, nothing. They can't. They just cannot do anything to me. That means the Soviets are really beaten. Uh, even the Merman's convoy is losing. And why does the weather have to be bad? All right, the next batch. That's pretty much. All the garrison units are ah, snow, sleet, slow, snow, sleet, rain, miserable weather. It is cold in Russia. Yeah, these guys have no supply, of course. I need to take. can't do anything with these. I missed. Okay, how many Romanian units do I have? Got one way up here that doesn't belong there. Capture Kerch. So there's two ships left in the Soviet fleet. Okay, this uh, Romanian unit needs to come back down and join its army. Let's move the Hungarians back up north. Let's push the Romanians down here. I didn't want to do that, but... It's okay. Tagandrog. Kharkov. Okay, this one needs to go more towards Kursk. But as the weather is just awful, let's move here. Good, uh, let's Okay, Hungarians are going further south now. Going this way. And uh got Nepopetrovsk is completely surrounded, so Gonna move over here for resupply. Kharkov has been captured, but I do need to put a partisan garrison in here. One, two, three. We got enough space to move that, but uh, move the headquarters unit in here. Be covering the German troops, and let's just stay there for now. 
true. Got two more units. One can go here and one can go to Rostov or Kursk. Okay, you can march towards Kursk. You can go up here to the spot you're supposed to be. And you can start marching in that direction. Okay, uh, Dnipopetrovsk will fall next. Push some more German units here. You can sit right there. Nothing wrong with being in Conotop. Let's push up here. And let's see where, let's move this Panzer unit here. And this is going pretty well. Uh, there's going to be another pocket. The Rostov pocket, I can call it. Yeah, this doesn't... Baku... I got Baku, I got Tbilisi, needs one there. Okay. Right there, Grozny. And then one, two, we're gonna move up here. Okay, let's just leave them there, they're gonna further move up later on. Okay, you are Guess I need to go to port and back or something like that. Okay, Samarkand. Same with this unit here. Now I'm moving towards uh, Tashkent. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Italians are okay. Summer con. Let's see. Check partisans. Do we have partisans in this area? No. Uh, Uralsk. Nothing up here. This is why I'm going to move the Italians up. Kind of just totally destroy the this whole area here, and maybe. I think with the Turks, I'm going to move up here and capture Kuibyshev. I'm going to move with the Italians up and devastate this area and capture Perm and Sverdlovsk. And all the alternate capitals we've gone. And then in the meantime, with the main German thrust, I just keep on pushing through, capture Stalingrad, Vorozhnev, and then Moscow. And that should be the end of the war. Okay, let's upgrade. Okay, before I forget, let's, uh, I'm in no hurry. I think, oh, this is tough. I need air units for this. Tallinn, maybe. I can only move one hex here, so that's not going to do me any good. Ah. Damn, Russian winners are nasty. Let's reinforce this one. Yeah, 
think this needs to upgrade it to something else. And let's see. Partisan hex is covered. Small hand school will be covered too. First, I gotta destroy it. The Italian army can now march towards here. All right, Smolensk has fallen. Okay, Rashiev. Rashiev has a, a unit there, so. Well reinforce. Move them closer. Just have enough range to bomb things next turn. All right. Well, this is big. I just need some more. Okay, I got enough here to start advancing towards Moscow. Let's cross the river here. Possibly start uh, with this Panzer unit here, and maybe this one. These three could start pushing towards Orel, Tula, and up towards Moscow that way. While the rest of the army just pushes towards Kursk and Voronezh. Uh, what else to do here? Romanian headquarters coming over here. Okay, this is going to be destroyed next. Good. Well, the advance is continuing. Now, this is No supply, but I mean, I will get supply once I break through here. But I need to use this one to start bombing. All right, United States. All right, I'm going to start. Really? Oh. Oh, come on, this guy's just way too lucky. Damage evaded. Let's see if we can evade that. No, that ain't gonna work. Ha ha. So I guess I'll just move him up a little bit.
I'm now coming towards France, and I got an, another Italian battleship on the way. Yoo-hoo! Uh, let's read. Upgrade this fighter. Let's see what else I can upgrade. Okay. Okay. There. Yeah. I needed uh, upgrade long range. That one. This one wasn't able to. I guess I'm going to do so this is pretty much locked out from any northern invasion they can't get through just suicide Americans are just losing units needlessly needlessly alright let's do Africa Okay, that unit's gone. Oh, it did even. Okay, there follows the Italian army. And the Battle of Africa is done. Uh, let's do a little diplomacy here. Germany. And let's see how Spain... Put another one for Spain. That takes care of all the chits for the Axis. Oh, okay, let's do. Okay, India did get reinforce. <laughs> Oh, that they just railroad track, railroad them over here. Continue Burma. Okay, so India is going to prove to be a little bit tougher, but it should not be that tough because of this. Rommel's coming right up. I'm going to cover the flank here. Move the artillery here. And of course, I bring up the infantry for infantry support. Reinforce this Italian unit. Slim, Headquarter India. Okay, General Slim. All right, I guess uh, it's going to be a little bit of a tough fight for Delhi, but that's going to go. I already got Panzer adjacent, and they have no... And that, that should fall very easily. And then I can bring up some infantry support, too, if I have to. You are going back. Down here. And uh, yes, uh, this is going very well. Yeah, I think all these Indian units uh, came from over here. 14th Army, India, Korea, yeah, that all came out of.
That's just to keep an eye on everything. I think I can move towards Mendeley. And uh, now it's time to continue to build up against the Soviet Union and the invasion of China. Good. I said this is the only unit I'm going to move up here, so I'm already, uh, pushing really hard. I think I can bomb. Okay, this one's rained. Let's use strategic bombers first. I'm going to send a unit or two that away. Stop it, cat. Tyrant. All right, I got a tyrannical cat that just keeps on wanting to play. And he's taking credit for all this strategy here and... He just wants to get involved in all this, too, so. Okay, this is what I'm going to send that away. Put this one mobility. Okay, this, this pocket's going to be liquidated really easily. And then I'm going to start... Uh, Reinforcing. Okay, all these units are going to uh, head towards the Soviet border. Soviet. These I'm going to send to the Soviet Union. Uh, some of these are going through Mongolia. This one's going back to the border. And I can already plan an attack on Vladivostok. Probably in a couple more turns once I start operating. I think next turn I'm going to attack. Turn or two, I'll attack. Yeah, three units should be enough to take Vladivostok. I'm going to put two or three more units this away. Yeah, that should be enough with the invasion of Russia. And then the rest are going to go through Mongolia. So, this is it. And I'm going to continue on with the Japanese move next turn. And... Let's see what else I can build for Germany. I think that's uh, long enough for this episode. So until next time, thank you for watching.